Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I have a new eyeshadow palette here. I'm going to do swatches and a makeup look and before I do that please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I don't want this video to be long. If you're an old subscriber I have a new background. I really like this green. It looks a little bit dark and shiny. I really really like it. I think it fits for this season. Well, the palette I'm talking about, so let's go back to the palette. It's uh, this beautiful palette, Prism from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I already have a video with all of my palettes, eyeshadow palettes that I showed you. And if you didn't see that, I'm going to put, I'm going to put the link down below or the card up here so you can watch it. But uh, in that video, my camera stopped recording when I was showing a palette, so that wasn't in that video, but I was showing this Anastasia that I have. This is the World Traveler eyeshadow palette. This is my one of the first palettes that I got, and I got this uh, for my birthday two years ago from my mom, and this is the only palette that I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I don't have that modern renaissance, eye sculpture, or yeah, what that other is called. So I really want to get that modern renaissance, not because of the shades. I already have similar shades in other palettes, but because it is so popular and I really want that palette. Subculture, I don't, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get that, but this palette, this palette is so beautiful. This packaging is so soft um, and let me open it. I got it today, so I haven't even swatched it, but I did open it. And I whoops, love the packaging. It's so soft, nice, black, intense. I love black and gold together. I think this looks so elegant and very nice. And let me open it. Look at the shades. They are so pretty. Really like them. I hope it will look beautiful on my eyes. I saw so many reviews of that subculture palette that didn't work out for many people. But there are mixed reviews, some people love it, some pe people hate it. I can't say what I think about it because I don't have it and I didn't even swatch it in the store. So yeah, I didn't get that because I did like the shades, but it just, it got so many bad reviews. So I didn't want to spend money on that palette. But this palette looks so beautiful and I, like, and I really needed to get this one. So uh, let's just do the swatches and uh, I'm going to start with the first row up here. And then I'm going to go to the second. it looks beautiful the palette I mean the shade there goes the brush the shades are beautiful they are a little bit powdery they feel soft fine milled there is not much fallout not right now when I use the fingers 
but I think I think all the shades look beautiful and I'm surprised how this yellow here neon shade looks very nice the only thing that I saw is that some shades want to come out from the palette I don't know if you can see but they're like they are almost out from the palette so yeah but that's the only thing so I'm not really sure how travel friendly this one is but the palette looks so beautiful so let's just start to create a look so I do look shiny I had this makeup on for many hours but I just received this palette and I knew it will come today so that's why I didn't have I don't have any eyeshadow uh, on my eyelids to set everything I'm going to use this shade here I don't know when I push my brush in it not much fallout but a lot of shade is on the brush can't really see it on my eyes but there it is very nice pigmentation I'm going to take that shade all on my eyelid there are so many shades that I want to use but I think I'm going to go either this shade here in my crease I just pressed very soft in, in the shade Eden and so much pigment is on the brush and I don't see any problem with the blending maybe I'll get all the eyeshadow palettes the modern renaissance and the subculture so I'm going to this shade here with that brush that came in this palette This one was a little bit harder to blend. The thing that I noticed with this eyeshadow palette is if you take an eyeshadow from this palette and you press on the brush and you press not hard, very hard, but hard on the eyelid and then you blend it, then it's going to be hard to blend that shade. But if you press very soft on the eyelid and start blending directly it's going to be much easier blending the eyeshadow so you have to be careful with the blending but it looks very nice these shades are very pigmented and I'm going back in that Eden shade again and I'll blend a little bit more and I'm going with that first shade that we had all over the eyelid up here that is pigmented I really like it I'm going to take this other side of this palette and I think I'm going to go into this dark brown here I'm just switching sides of this brush because I want to blend that dark brown shade okay I think I'm going to go into to, I'm very interested in this shade the dimension down here it looks very nice I'm going to take that shade with a flat brush and try to put that all over my eyelid would you see if it works with a brush yes it does I can't really see any fallout I'm going to use my finger and see, see how it works with a finger. It works much better with a finger. And I don't mind using my fingers for these kind of shades. I always do that with every eyeshadow palette that I have. Okay, what I really want to do is to take this shade here and put that... I'm going to use my finger again and I'm going to take that shade just in the center of my eyelid that looks beautiful I'm going to use my pinky and take that shade again and I'm going to take this smaller brush and take that shade again, the first one 
and take that under my eyebrow really like that shade it looks like a gold white shade hard to describe I'm going to go back in that dark brown shade again and dark up a little bit here make it darker I want to use as many shades as possible so I think I'm going to take I'm going to take this shade here again on the lower lash line just blend that and then I'm going to go into uh, this shade Eden that we had in our crease just go halfway then I'm going to go with a smaller brush and go into this shade here I'm not going to go the whole way also to the middle and I'm really interested in this shade here so I'm going to take that on a smaller brush and take it here I have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed in this shade. It looks beautiful in the pan and the swatches. For some reason, on my eyes, it looks more more yellow than neon. Take a smaller brush, and I'm going to go into this shade here. Try that one. This is how the palette looks after this use and it's it is a little bit powdery but it doesn't look bad. I really like this makeup look that I created. It looks beautiful. I really love these deep shades. They are very pigmented so you have to go with a light hand in this uh, palette. I don't think this palette is for someone that's just starting with makeup like a first palette make a palette because it is a little bit harder to work with I think so that's my experience first experience my first thoughts about this pa palette right now because the shades are so pigmented you have to be light with your hand when you blend the shades you don't push too hard on this one place and then start blending because then you're going to have most pigment on that place and then it's going to be hard blending that and it's going to look patchy but right now it looks so nice I think I did a good job and I really enjoy this palette so I'm <laughs> right now I wish I could but unfortunately I can go and buy eyeshadow palette the modern renaissance and the subculture because even if I right now after using this I'm kind of curious to see how the subculture palette works I heard so many bad reviews and some good but more mostly bad reviews of that palette and I'm very curious I want to try that myself and see if I can make it like I said this a little bit disappointed in this shade it turned out a little bit more yellow on my eyes not more deep yellow on my eyes than neon but maybe it will work better if I have like a concealer under it and try to try it wet I'm definitely going to do that play a little bit more in the, uh, with this palette and then I'm going to give you more thoughts about it in my haul video December November haul video and uh, yeah right now I really like it I enjoy it it looks beautiful give a thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe if you already haven't let me know if you have this palette if you own this palette and what's your thoughts about it about it thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye